Today's lesson is how to crush those easy sitters. You know, the balls that land short, they're sitting up, just waiting for you to crush it. And also, how to crush the swinging volley. Okay, those two shots are very similar, okay? The, the technique is basically the same. Okay, what you need when you have a short ball like that, or you're taking a volley out of the air, you are close to the net. You have to use spin, top spin, okay? You need that on these shots to make sure that the ball lands inside the court. So, number one, you have to have either an eastern or a semi-western grip. Okay, let's talk about grips for a moment. All racket handles are octagonal, eight-sided, right? We're going to give those sides numbers starting on top. This flat surface is number one. This little flat surface, this bevel on the side is number two. Number three is totally on the side there. Number four, that little bevel underneath. And five is on the bottom. Now, it would be the exact same thing, one on top, two, three, four, five on the bottom, for a left-hander. Now, we're going to take the hitting hand, and we're going to use the inside knuckle on the index finger and the heel pad of the hand. And when we place those two X's on number two, let's say, you've got a continental grip. If you put them on number three, you have an eastern grip. And if you put them on number four, you have a semi-western grip. Okay, now my recommendations are eastern or semi-western. You would not want to be using continental to hit a swinging volley or a, a short ball, an easy sitter. You don't want continental. Go with eastern or semi-western. The biggest mistake that I see, players are trying to do this. They're, the ball is high, so they're thinking, I've got to hit down. I'm close to the net, I can hit down. And the problem with that, here's the big problem. When players want to hit down, they typically open up first. And now they're trying to come over the ball like this, okay? So they open up first, then they're trying to come over. The only chance you have, see, because all of these shots as you're coming up, if you hit the ball like this, it's going long. It's going over the fence maybe. Now, these are all long, all long, all long. That's still long. That's still long because it's tilted back. You don't want your racket tilted back at all, even if it's just one degree. Now, when you get to here, when you get to vertical, okay, you're going to make that shot. The ball will be in. But then you're doing this. So if you hit the ball early, all these shots are in the net. So what I'm trying to say is the timing on when you meet the ball has to be absolutely perfect. Otherwise, all these are long, 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 perfect. Okay, that's in, in the net, in the net, in the net. You don't want that kind of a swing. In the contact zone or area, that foot to a foot and a half, you want the racket moving from low to high in a vertical position straight up, that is going to give you topspin. That's all topspin is. You're moving from low to high. You're brushing the equator of the ball. You're driving through and you continue to brush up. So you impart the forward spin to the ball. Why do we want forward spin? Because when the ball starts to spin forward, it creates air pressure on top of the ball. So it's pushing the ball down into the court, okay, before it sails long. Remember, this is a short ball. It's up high. You need spin. That's the key. 
when you learn to trust your ability to stay pretty much vertical in the contact zone, moving from low to high, you're going to have plenty of spin. Now, yeah, players say, yeah, but Tom, I, I see the pros. They're doing this all the time. No, they're not doing that. What you're seeing is this. Roger Federer's forehead. He com he's coming up in into the shot. Let me come back a little. He's coming up into the shot, vertical at contact. Now, this is the contact point. He's completely vertical. Now, the ball is gone because it's only on your strings for a millisecond. Now, he drives through, the ball's gone. And when you look at his racket, after the ball is gone, it's still like this. He imparted spin because he was going low to high. Now, what you're seeing when you watch the pros is after he gets through the contact area, boom, he flicks the wrist and he comes across his body to relax. That's all. And that's his finish. You know, so you have to learn that on these short balls. Now, here's a tip for you. When you see that short ball, the biggest mistake, I think, is because players open up. But if you can keep that hitting elbow up, you see how my racket is staying down? The face is down, okay, when the elbow's up. Now, if I drop my elbow, if my elbow drops into my body, you see what happens? And that's what players do. They drop in close to the body, and they're trying to come over. So keep that elbow up, keep the racket face closed, simply drop the racket a foot below the ball, swing up, hit through it. Now, once you get through the shot, okay, there's my contact, let's say right there, I hit through. Now I can do the windshield wiper motion, you know, come across the body on the finish. So that's gonna be key for you to have 100% confidence in crushing short balls and the swinging volley. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Notice there the elbow is up. The racket face is closed. That's gonna be key. Okay, now as I get the feet set up into position here, right there, notice, I've turned the upper body and I've loaded the right leg. Now as I swing forward, that left leg is coming forward. I'm coming into the contact zone vertical. Okay, now I'm going to brush up and I come across the ball, windshield wiper motion, you can see that on the finish. Okay, technique on the swinging volley, basically the same. Hitting elbow is staying up and away from the body. Racket face is closed on that backswing. Okay, I've loaded the right leg here. Now I'm exploding into the shot. The left leg comes forward, vertical at contact, and I come across on the finish with that windshield wiper motion. Okay, slow motion on a short ball here that's bouncing up high. Elbow is up, racket face is closed on the backswing. Now as I set my feet, you're going to see how I'm going to load that right leg right there. Okay, that leg is loaded. Now I can explode into this shot. That left leg's coming forward, right there, vertical at contact. And on windshield wiper motion right there, you could see that. So I'm getting a lot of brush on the ball for that top spin.
Okay, swing volley in slow motion. Again, elbows up, racket face is closed. I'm going to set that right leg right there. Loaded that leg, now exploding into the shot. Vertical at contact. Now I'm going to windshield wiper motion on the finish. Right there. The weight has come forward onto the left leg. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, the key to this shot, when you want to crush those easy sitters and those swinging volleys, the key to the shot is spin. Create that top spin to bring the ball down. So focus on that point of keeping that elbow up, racket face closed. Once you learn to really trust your ability to get spin and staying vertical in that contact zone, you're going to become much more proficient at hitting those easy sitters and the swinging volleys. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Hit that notification bell so you're notified on any future videos. All the best, guys, to your tennis success. Take care.